Huzzah for King and Country, etc. The British Redcoats are one of the most iconic armies in military history, but their association with the colour red might surprise you. Yesterday I went to watch the King's Army Annual March in central London, and there's a horse. This annual event is a rather sombre spectacle, as Royalist soldiers march to Whitehall to mourn the death of their King, Charles I, who was executed here on the 30th of January 1649. And as you can see, there are many different uniforms on display representing different regiments of the King's Army. Here's a musket regiment in the familiar red, here we have pike regiments in white and blue, another wearing black, and here we have some noblemen in some quite sensational Civil War getup. Red dyes were used for military uniforms since the Tudor times, and during the Civil War, units from both sides used red dye, which sounds pretty confusing. Oliver Cromwell defeated Charles I, and it was in fact Cromwell's new model army, established in 1645, which was the first British army to use the colour red for their standard uniform. When Charles II was restored to the throne in 1660, the colour red was retained largely for practical reasons, because red dyes were cheap and readily available, and the colour has been used by the British army ever since. But if you think about it, it's pretty mind-blowing that the colour we associate so strongly now with British royalty was first established by Oliver Cromwell, who executed the King of England. Thank you very much for your mind-blowing facts, some amazing comments this week, although I will just say we will only be accepting your first mind-blowing fact in the comments section. I'm looking at you, Drace90. In third place, we have Outback Airsoft with his fact about the Emu War 1932, which was actually with emus, not ostriches, but I won't hold that against you. An amazing war in which Australia declared war against emus and used Lewis guns, which were mobile machine guns from the First World War, to uh, take out emus, which is pretty horrendous. But amazing fact, well done. In second place, we have Top Hat with slaves being smeared in honey. This is the ancient Egyptian pharaoh, Pepi II, who apparently hated flies so much that he smeared his slaves in honey. So go figure. But very good, mind-blowing fact, and I've put a link to an article in the description. Well done. And in first place, we have Ultimate Taco Cat with his fact about the US Air Force accidentally dropping two nuclear warheads on North Carolina, which very nearly detonated in 1961. It's known as the Goldsboro B-52 crash, and I have linked to an article in the description. So very well done to you. You will be receiving a sticker and mug very, very soon, which is exciting. I've got one of the stickers here, fantastic. They're very, very smart. So well done to you. If you would like the chance to win a sticker and mug, all you have to do is comment below with your mind-blowing fact, and we will choose another winner next week. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more History Bombs content coming very, very soon. And there's a horse.